Hey everybody, it's Laser here, and uh, today I'm gonna be making a video about the most recent topic. Yes, it is official. Elon has bought Twitter, baby. Elon, the doi the <laughs> the Dogecoin master, the creator of the of possibly the worst case of case of bad timing thing in marketing ever, the Cybertruck. Okay, and also, uh, I don't know. He shoots stuff into space. Hey, so that's all I really know. Uh, all I really know him for is Cybertruck and Dogecoin. Wait, and to be honest, that that should be a pretty bad thing. Like, please, someone evaluate my mental health if that's all I know about Elon. <laughs> anyway, so basically, uh, we're gonna be talking about how Elon. Basically, he's so well. He likes Twitter a lot. Basically, he, it's his main social media aside from well Reddit. And uh, basically, he he's been trying to buy it for the past couple months now. Now, originally he announced that he was going to buy it and that the buying will ha happen soon. But because Elon realized something like, uh, let's just make something up, up because there isn't an official re really an official reason. So, f so f it, let's make something up. Up, uh, he realized that everyone in Twitter were cl were uh, um, Neanderthals. They hadn't involved. They were just like humans that hadn't involved yet. And like they're all Neanderthals, and he decided, you know what, I'm not gonna buy. But since he was this far into the buying process, he was forced to buy, and now Elon owns Twitter. To be honest, I didn't think this would happen, but eh, I don't know what to say except maybe it could be promising news, cause everybody knows Twitter is the melting pot is the melting pot of the internet and, like it's where all the degenerates go to uh, congregate and share their commonly held opinions anyway so uh, basically he, that's what happened and well all the dream stands the uh, crazy people, the overall degenerates of Twitter, uh, they've decided, actually, no, we're going to go back over to Tumblr or some other obscure website. And, and, like, it's a mass Twitter exodus. Like, all of the, all of the, all of the art fixers are leaving, all of the Annoying, like Gen Z, is shoving down their pronoun, shoving their pronouns down your throat. Oh, oh, people are leaving. The the weird furries, furries are leave. Uh, the weird furries. I don't think they're gonna leave, but uh, they might start using Tumblr a bit more. So yeah. And yeah, but, and uh. I would say the dream stands are gonna leave, but let's <laughs> let's just be honest. The dream stands, like there after dreams face reveal, there are no dream stands, which should honestly be, which is honestly a good thing. <laughs> like it didn't save Twitter or anything, but it definitely made it a bit more livable from what I could see. Like, I don't use Twitter, which is definitely a good thing for my mental health. So, yeah, that's basically it. There's not much to, you know, the whole Elon buying Twitter thing. And so, basically, I'm going to talk about a bunch of other stuff that is related to Twitter. As well as Elon and basically, you know, everything in the general general space 
ice and you know common fang you know common ground basically stuff that loosely relates to Elon and Twitter because because man I I I went to record footage and when I finally got good footage I realized that the footage was like 17 minutes long so this is like an incredibly long video and I and there's not that much content and for me to dig into for a video of, of this length so yeah I'm also gonna be talking about some I'm also gonna be making an announcement later but in this video but we'll get to that when we need to get to that anyway so um basically uh, I'm trying to think of stuff to talk about here so um, does anyone remember Dogecoin? I'm pretty sure you do remember Dogecoin. Well, did you know that that some guy tried to sue Elon on for like 300 million and because he got scammed by Dogecoin? Yeah, that, that happened. Like, I'm, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel to like keep this video like, to like keep talking here, okay? Like, we're six minutes into the video and I've already ran out of stuff to say. So, yeah, I'm not sympathy begging or anything. I'm just saying, damn, I really picked, damn, I really picked a very long clip to make, to like, record over. Like, jeez. But I ain't gonna talk about it for that for any more than I already have cuz that's probably been like most of the video about this point so I'm uh, trying to think of stuff to talk about okay I'm um, uh, uh, I should probably elaborate on the cyber truck thing that I was talking about earlier yeah the cyber truck because I don't think that many people actually know what the cyber truck is basically it was this giant armored via truck basically that Elon and uh, you know Tesla made and they showcased it and you probably might remember it from like uh it was that one meme of the of like the kid with like the blonde hair and stuff of gawking and stuff I I don't know, like that if you've ever seen that meme it's like an incredibly overused meme and so you've probably seen it. You know, it's so yeah. Uh anyway, so that's from the Cybertruck event. Basically what happened at the Cybertruck event was that Elon and some other guy were both seeing about how the Cybertruck, it's literally indestructible, guys. You could shoot it, it won't br the windows won't break. You can ram it into something the outside of the truck will still keep intact it will be it is perfect absolutely amazing perfection action it is the best armored vehicle that you could have the president will have a cyber truck by the end of the year here and then Elon went to do a test demonstration and it was literally the worst part of the worst example of P of bad PR marketing I've ever seen. Basically, he went to throw like a uh, baseball, you know, one of the things that you'd throw in front of like a dog and go like, fetch, fetch it, fetch it, you dumbass! You know, something like that. And, and basically, he threw it at the window, and the window completely shattered. <laughs> Like descri like describing it is not enough. You actually have to watch the Cybertruck announcement video uh, to actually uh, properly see how big of a fail this was. It was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that or this one window cracking, like completely hold like stopped. 
the cyber truck like I'm pretty sure the cyber truck was canceled after this Be especially because what happened next uh, Elon decided to throw the ball the same ball at a at the rear at the rear view mirror thinking oh this is just one mirror it, it's not that big of a deal I could save this he threw it at it and that mirror and that mirror that glass that window uh, sorry if I've been saying it mirror but when it's a window that window completely shattered as well <laughs> and it was so awkward like it had this big hype up with like this giant LED like sign above it that said cyber truck and there was like fire going off all around it like they had pyrotechnics there and then it just turned into a laughing stock <laughs> oh my goodness ah uh, I I like it, it was just a complete mess okay that's all you need to know it was just a complete mess so yeah anyway so uh, we still have like uh, uh, four no not four five minutes left so uh, for the remaining five minutes I think I'll just talk about um uh, uh, I think I'll just talk about um, I'll talk about my announcement, basically, for all of you who click on the video and only make it past like, like thirty, and make it past the first thirty seconds because of how great in my mic microphone quality is. Is this is to you? This is a special mes message to you from me, the person that gives you your content. And, and that you watch for some reason and like and uh, basically a, this message is well basically I'm going to be let's say I'm gonna be doing other stuff except co I'm gonna be doing other stuff except co from commentary okay uh, let me explain myself basically I'm going to be doing uh, I'm still gonna be doing the commentary videos cuz uh, you guys love like the six the siege commentaries Here's so so yeah you guys I like really like the rainbow six siege commentaries there is Dave they're like some of the most popular videos on my channel and as you guys can see through just scrolling from my uploads like my videos uh, the video section on my channel I like to experiment with a bunch of different video types and basically uh, they haven't really worked out as well as the commentaries so here's what I'm going to do for now I'm going to keep doing the Rainbow Six commentaries because they're the things that get me views. They're the things that get me traction to my channel. Well, they're the things that get you to click on the video, which I very much appreciate you even clicking on the video. Oh, that helps a lot for like me as a smaller channel. Like that only has like eight subscribers, so I'm still going to be doing that. But, I am going to be doing some, some like, uh, some other videos talking about some other topics ex that aren't just drama related. I probably will st still have the Rainbow Six Siege each gameplay in the background, or sometimes I might, I turn on the webcam, though, uh, to be honest, if I were to do that, I'd probably be wearing wearing like some giant I had like five layer costume to make sure you guys don't don't know what I actually look like I guess, so yeah uh, but uh, basically I'll still be I'll 
these videos will be talking about stuff like, uh, you know, topics that are, that I find pretty interesting, and hopefully you will, oh, that aren't really just drama related, it, because I've been getting pretty tired about those stuff, about doing those stuff. I also have, like, a lot of, uh, creative and artistic, you know, uh, liberties is that I've, you know, that I've wanted to, that I've thought of indulging in and making videos about, but, uh, but I don't think, just don't expect to be seeing any of those type of videos, because as I'm planning those for, like, uh, a second cha- if I ever get big on YouTube, I'll make a second channel where I could do all that, all the creative arts and, arts and craft, like, uh, artsy crafty stuff off over there on that channel. Oh. Oh, because it doesn't really fit with the main channel. So, yeah. I, I might make a second channel in the future. But I am going to, like, divulge from, like, doing a just straight commentary on, like, latest drama and stuff. I'm gonna be talking about, like, different topics and stuff. So, yeah. I just wanted to make that announcement, because, you know, I have been getting pretty tired of the commentaries lately, and I just want... And I need to keep... And it's a motivation for me to keep uploading. So, yeah. That's it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.